guys, I'm Christine and welcome back to my Skincare 101. Today I wanted to share with you what ingredients you should avoid when choosing a sunscreen. It's the summertime and a lot of um, people are using sunscreen because the sun is out and it's nice to go out on a picnic. So I wanted to do this video. Um, knowing these ingredients is very important because they've been shown to break down under the sun, allowing chemicals to penetrate to the skin, therefore your bloodstreams, and potentially causing hormonal disruption and allergic reactions. We're all looking for sunscreens that are great when it comes to texture, smell, or doesn't leave a white cast on our faces. But what's more important are the ingredients that are used in the formula. So before we begin, I just wanna say that you should wear your sunscreen every single day. Yes, even on cloudy days when you don't see the sun because the sun rays are still out and about and your skin is exposed to them. Um, you should not only wear sunscreen on your face but also on your hands, your ears, um, the front and back of your neck, uh, which are all areas that are pretty much exposed to the sun every day. We're just not cognizant of it. So you wanna keep those areas safe with sunscreen. And males, you are not an exception. Um, if you're feeling lazy and don't want to wash your face, that's fine. But you must wear your sunscreen every day because lack of sun protection is the number one cause of premature aging. And we don't want our skin to look like we're in our 60s when actually we're in our 30s. So what happens when your skin is exposed to the sun is that the ultraviolet rays will create free radicals. And free radicals are basically unstable molecules. Think of them as molecules that are high on cocaine or high on sugar. And they're just crazy and they will cause chaos. And that's what they do for your skin. They cause chaos by breaking down collagen in your skin. And collagen is something that we want in our skin because that's what makes our skin firm and look young. And I'm assuming that most of you would want that kind of skin. There are two types of UV rays. One is UVA, which is the cause of aging, and UVB, which is the cause of burning. Um, easy to remember, A stands for aging and B stands for burning. And both are both rays are linked to skin cancer and are harmful for your health in the long run. So you, you want to avoid both UVA and UVB rays. Then there are physical sunscreens and chemical sunscreens. Physical sunscreens use UV filters that block and reflect UV rays. So the sun rays will come in and it will just block it and the rays will reflect back. Versus chemical filters will absorb the radiation and prevent them from penetrating the skin. So what's dangerous about these chemical filters is that over time it'll break down under the sun because it's so hot and eventually penetrate through the skin, which you don't want. So you'd be surprised to know that a lot of these sunscreens that we wear every day, like the ones from Neutrogena or Aveeno and even Shiseido, all contain chemical filters and that are easily uh, degradable under the sun. Some of these chemical filters that you should avoid are PABA, which stands for para-aminobenzoic acid. Not a lot of sunscreens these days use this ingredient, but you should still avoid it. Uh, number two is homosalate, which um, has been found to disrupt estrogen, and there's also concern that it creates it um, creates harmful byproducts as it breaks down under the sun. The third one is octanosate, which also imitates hormonal activity, so it causes corruption, uh, corruption disruption. Um, a lot of Asian sunscreens will say ethyl hexyl methoxycinamate, which is basically the same thing as octanosate. The fourth one is oxybenzone, which is the most commonly found ingredient in a lot of sunscreens and they have the highest penetration percentage. And not only is it harmful for you, it's harmful for the environment as well. And all of these hard chemical names, I'll put a link down below in the description box. So make sure you check that out. And a lot of these resources that I'm referring to are from EWG.com, which is Environmental Working Group. And they have a lot of articles on sunscreen and chemicals you should avoid in your personal care items. Now you might be wondering what filters are actually safe to use. Um, there's avobenzone and octisolate, both are chemical filters, and they have shown no evidence of hormone disruption according to EWG and physical filters that are safe to use are titanium dioxide and zinc oxide both have been approved by the FDA for sun protection so I would choose a sunscreen that actually has these two uh, physical filters titanium dioxide and zinc oxide I'm gonna briefly share with you my top sunscreens that don't contain these harmful ingredients that I've just listed out for you my number one favorite sunscreen is the Tatcha 
um, Pore Perfecting Sunscreen Brow Spectrum SPF 35, such a long name. But I love this one even though it's $68 and I know it's a really high price, but I think it's so worth the money. And if you, especially if you don't wear anything besides your sunscreen, definitely invest in this. It doesn't leave an oily residue, nor does it feel very heavy on the skin, and it doesn't contain any of those ingredients that I've listed for you. The other one is from La Roche-Posay, and there's a ton of variations of sunscreens from La Roche-Posay, but this one is the Anthelios 50 Mineral Ultra Light Sunscreen Fluid. I'll put the link down below, but this one also doesn't contain any of those ingredients, and it's a little bit tinted. This is 33 bucks, so it's half the price as the Tatcha, but what I don't like about it is that it kind of smells very chemically. I don't know how to describe it, but I, I'm not a big fan of the smell. That's the only reason why I wouldn't use this instead of the Tatcha one. But it's it's a good price. I would recommend it. The last one is CeraVe. This is worth $15. Um, it's a drugstore item. It does leave a white cast on your skin. Um, so I would be aware of that and really work that cream into your skin, the sunscreen into your skin to make sure you don't have like a ghastly face when you're going out. And this is a little sticky. Like I don't, I'm not a huge fan of the texture. It's just good because it's cheap and it doesn't contain all the harmful chemicals. So that's all I wanted to share for today. If you like this video and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to comment below and I'll see you guys in my next skincare video. Bye!